Today, I'm going to talk about my marble machine. The items I've used. I've used plastic cups, scissors, white glue, paper, popsicle sticks, and beads. So, remember about the YouTube video about the marble machine, right? Well, when I saw it, I saw a little bit few mistakes. So I thought I could magically cure them and it'll work. So, this is a paper ramp. This wall first where I put my cup and the beads will lead to. This is because when you saw the video, right? The bees jumble into a big group. And then some of them fall down, but some of them went inside the big bin. And that's not good. So I thought we could first split it. So they go into small groups while they're doing this. This is a popsicle stick ramp. This also has two things that are tilted. And that makes a triangle. And also a middle popsicle stick. Well, this is turning in them into small groups. We also want them to turn into mini groups. So I thought we should split it and also tilt it so none of them will fall out here and they only fall in here. This is a paper ramp. If we didn't have that, I mean the bowls would not go in and some might go into the small bin or outside. And that will lose points, and we don't want that. I also have this plastic cup ramp that makes all the small balls that go down there into the cup. Because if we did not have that, it means all of the small black beads will scramble away. And that causes losing points. We also wanted a steady base. So I thought of cutting hole and putting a popsicle stick in there so it will stabilize and put popsicle sticks to held up the popsicle stick ramp and the paper ramp. Now let's try to demonstrate it. We want this to be slow and vivid because we don't want any of them to fall out. Let's see the results. Okay we have one, two, and three small balls. But the rest is good. Wow, we're making progress. Nice. Now I could think of some things that could stop these three balls from getting into the wrong position. Thank you.